Oh, you want to say hi? No. All right, hello, everybody. Uh, another crack pack for you guys. We're going to open up a Magic the Gathering 2015 corset Magic deck builder's tool kit to see what's on the inside of this bad boy. She's uh, to play give, too. Yeah, to give our viewers, anyone that probably hasn't seen an unboxing of this, this is basically what you're going to expect. Um, it, it, it comes with an assortment of cards and all this stuff, but let's not even waste time there we uh, go, talking gonna... about it. Let's actually bust this bad boy open. What's, what's it come with? On the back, real quick. It's magic. Let me see. After you done unboxing it, all right. I'll hand it. I'll hand it over. Don't crap about plastic. I mean, I do. I sniff it all the time. There you Thanks. go. So, what's this coming with? It's actually not a bad looking box. 125. Semi randomized, randomized card suitable for your uh, building several magic uh, decks. It's pretty much you do what you need to do. So far, we got some planes. And we got some mountains. Okay. Solid. Yeah, just, you know, instructions. If you don't know how to play, they're important. You got some mana, and you got some lands. Same thing. Whatever you want to call it, tomato, tomato. I say... Lord uh, of the Gods. Lord, Lord, of, the, bad. Lord of the Gods. Learning the next. No Theros. All right, well, hopefully we can get some god cards. That'd be really... Okay, you should that would be really cool. Try to weigh them out. See what you get. See what you think you can get. <laughs> yeah, Wayne doesn't work with magic. You need to shut your mouth. Okay, so not so bad. Um, It's kind of... It's... Geared towards beginners, of course, and um, uh, I'll quickly go through this right here. Just primarily, just different lands. Let's not even really worry about that. I'm not sure what's in this one. I think it's more semi-random, right. and I'll check those out. We'll go into those near the end of the video. But come on, everyone wants to know what's in the packs. That's kind of where all the money's at. So let's just bust these bad boys open, and that's whatever. Okay, that was always nice. Seven, Inferno Fist. Uh, make sure I get in there. Okay. Hand me the guys when you're done. Invisibility, Goblin, whatever. Huh. Some of this art is seriously like. Yeah, the art. I, I, this is one thing I've always loved about Magic. The art is fucking epic. Like, they could literally have a dude in a toilet, but it would be like. The most epic. It would be the most epic shit you would ever see. Alright, so there's our uncommon. Uh, someone's Crypt. Uh, Paragon of Open Graves, something light, and then here's our rare. Well, I a lot of this shit. What's it do? How's it doing? All right, so we it? got a creature shape shifter. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's basically a five drop for zero zero. You may have this thing under the battlefield as a copy. Also, it's kind of like clone in a way. Um, hey, how many? Not not bad, but it's kind of expensive. I really don't think I'd really invest that much in it. During the next, I think we'll save that one Dream for last. Of the so, of the gods. Yeah, so when I got back into magic, I mean, I actually am re-coming back into magic with a, a cons of Takar block. And, but the first, I had been out of magic for years and I had come in at the uh, Born of the Gods and then on to Journey to Nyx and I was like, wow, this, that was actually, I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a, a really well done set. I mean, I'm not saying it was the best. It was like not like any Alara or anything, but I, I enjoyed this set for what it was. It brought some fun things to the table. I enjoyed playing the set, you know, as a whole. But Alara is personally just one of my favorites. What about you? Uh, right now. Let's see. Can we get a god? This yeah, I think we got one. Uh, it's, you know, not the best one, but I, I had a, a Minotaur deck with him. Pretty awesome. Play. Put that guy back over here. How to play? play. How to play? Um, basically, all right. Let me just run it out real quick. Uh, he's indestructible. That's one thing about the guide cards that I that I that really liked is that once they're on the field, it's like damn near impossible to get rid of them. Right. Uh, as long as your devotion to black and red is less than seven, this card isn't a creature. So once again, you know, it's uh, pretty pretty, pretty badass. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. This guy deals two damage to that target player unless he or she sacrifices a creature. And basically, like, it's kind of like a trend. Like, that's basically how the gods are set up. It's like, uh... What is this? Born of the gods? Born yeah, of still the gods. born of the gods. Born of the gods. Uh, I can... Shit, get that open. Open this stuff up. Get it done. All right. Yeah, see, I've been out of the game as well for a Oh, ooh, a total token. token. Ooh, a bird token. It's a pigeon. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Oh. All right, so we got some... Zombie. Oh, revoke existence. Now, another great thing is I had a uh, a killer 
fucking white green deck that I made with this. White green. I'll be honest, I think uh, I think well white really pushed out a lot of a lot of tokens. Uh oh, God, I, I I'm even starting to forget the terminology for a lot of this stuff. But uh just cause they made new rules and whatnot. Okay. Uh bestow. Off. I love the bestow stuff. Alright, let's see. No. Oops, sorry. Oh, uh oh, and is that another god? Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I had one of one of those in my yeah. uh let me see that. Yeah, go ahead and read that, let them know. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of um, people already know. Well, it's a god. Cannot. Wow, that's actually not too bad. As long as you're doing Got two god cards. I mean, sure both of god cards I've had in the past, but now that I'm actually being able to re-add into my collection, that's actually pretty cool. And then, of course, Journey into Nyx. Alright, so it's pretty much just replenish. Replenish. Yeah. you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for four or planes from. That's probably just a land, attack. this is a forest. Okay. It's up your library. Anyways, so... I mean, I, I, I'm a big fan of playing, like, white and green. It's, I mean, sometimes blue, I mean, personally, it's a bit too technical. I'm not to say that, I, you know, it's too much. It's like, it, the, the control of blue... Because that's all it is, it's, control. You know, I haven't mastered blue. You know, if you green and white is relatively it. easy for people to, to get into. All right, you know, here we go, we're on commons. We'll do it now. Hour of Need, Line Breaker, some of these words are really hard to pronounce. And can we get a third God card? Please, yeah, no, it. no, it's, not, no. it's, 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 yeah, it's like an enchantment or something. That's an enchantment. Uh, uh, a Dictate of Twin Gods. Not a bad card. Not bad. the best, but, you know, it's kind of expensive. But if a source would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double damage to that permanent or player instead. Really good if you're running... Um, like a damage deck, like a red or, or a black. Or a it's good for a red black deck. Um, and, you know, kind of just control, to like. Liter kind of control? Yeah. Like blue, red. That's kind of certain. Um, oh, like like the wedge pieces, basically. Like the opposite. More or less, more or less you're like getting rid of stuff that anything uh, that's going on the board and you're still like decking them out. Alright. I'm um, just going to like kind of like spin through these really quick. Yeah. You know, we'll go up and to the uh, right a little bit. There you go. Bye. That's yeah. what we like. We like that. Isn't yeah, it? basically just just a bunch of uh, you know, okay, semi-randomized cards. You know, not really anything to really brag about. You know, I wouldn't really recommend this for a beginner. Uh, oh god, gray merchant. Like for a common card, this thing can fucking. When gray merchant of apostle. Enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black. You are given life equal to the life lost this way. I have played against decks that, like, literally specify in Grey Merchant, and I, and I just get fucking fucked. It's an expensive card to play, but but trust me, it, it fucking works in in okay. decks. You got, you got two of them. Grey is easy oh, one. Hold on, hold on a second, there's one behind, and it, no, it, bam, what's that one do? What, this thing? Enchant creature, gotcha, go. enchant Got creature, it. whatever. But, uh, you know, no, nothing really crazy to really brag about. I mean, well, it's, I brag it's, all day about it's them. you know, it's good to add something quick to your collection, but for 20 bucks, you're, you know, you could probably buy singles to get yourself a decent starter deck. Um, so go to your local card shop. Got kind of lucky with those pull. Yeah, always, yeah, go to your local card shop. To talk to them. Shop. If you're really interested in getting into the game, and they have even if you just want to like try it out or whatever, you're you're best to go down to your local card shop and you know checking it out. And uh, down bit, and buy it money down. And I said, damn, there we go. Yeah, personally though, um, if you guys um want to shop online, uh, Darium CCG, I highly recommend them. They're they just they're all about the uh, the magic or Pokemon or whatever community. They just really like this whole you know, trading card game community. That's basically what they specialize in. That's what they're all about. Uh, I'll put a, a link to them in the description. They have an awesome YouTube channel. Like, you can literally basically see every day what it, it's like in their shop. And they're just so, they're so down to earth. They all believe in transparency. Like, I highly recommend going and checking them out. So. Where was this again? Uh, Dariums. Uh, I, I literally just found them on YouTube and that brought me to the site. I haven't bought anything from them yet, but I plan on it. So, but, you know, just watching their videos, they're so down to earth, and you can, like, really get, like, a humanizing effect from them. The old time. Yeah. old time, Yeah, a lot, that's the thing about the core sets, which I'm kind of glad that they're kind of getting rid of it and, like, t 
reincarnate into something new. Because yeah. instead of coming out with a new core set for this year, they're coming out with Magic Origins, which is kind of focusing on the, the realms of the world and the story of Magic more than anything else, which I can kind of appreciate. I always thought the story of the Planeswalkers were really interesting. Yeah, see, I don't know um, a bit about it. I've only seen, like, a... Yeah, a, and uh, a, the only thing about that I gotta say about this, um... You do get a decent assortment of cards, but especially, like, like especially purchasing this now is kind of a bad move. Especially since these are, like, this, uh, the whole, uh, Theos block is getting ready to rotate out. But, you know, you can always push these cards into modern, but... A lot of people really focus on standard. It wins. Why reinvent the wheel? Alright. That's good. Question. And whatever. Use is whatever. You still got way more. Look at that. Yeah. Look at all them. Look at all them right there. Look at all that. Ah. So many cards. You ain't even a frame. There we go. Try to like run through this. It's a little quicker. I mean, a lot of you know at this point, you know. Who wants to see some black ass? So man. these semi, like basically all these semi randomized ones, you're gonna be getting like basically the same as everybody else. And you know, like I said before, you're, you're better off just you know getting a couple boosters or going to your local card card shop. And, and I'm pretty sure like, yep, that's it. All the rest is land. Land. I'm pretty so, sure that one's gonna be land right here. Yeah, you probably have something to make a decent, okay deck nothing i mean without you know nothing nothing really to brag about and you're probably gonna lose if you try to construct an actual deck made out of these cards Unless you want to um, make a game out of it with your friends i will yeah i will say the probably the box the best thing about this box is actually the box itself um i actually prefer this particular box to the fat pack boxes because just the way that the cardboard in them when it slides down it can kind of damage uh your cards that are like kind of towards the edge here but these ones are I like just because you know it's got this when you close it, it slides and kind of locks into place so anyway if you've made it down this far comment in the bottom your favorite magic block uh or expansion and a funny interesting eh, reason why and um two boosters uh yeah two boosters whoever i think is the funniest and gets the most likes on uh, the comment section down below and please remember check out darium's later